just help people do the right thing and obey. Do the right thing and obey. Do the right thing and obey. Is it time we rename America to the land of the c**ks? This is exactly what they want. People self literally imprisoning themselves in their own houses like slaves gladly. They want everyone in fear, panic, going along with the agenda as everything is planned to be. More people have probably died from the flu in the past few weeks than the Toyota Corolla, yet the media is shoving this down our throats and creating a false illusion about what is really going on. What's crazy about this is the predictive programming. Like the news articles are telling us what's going to happen two weeks in advance and then it just magically happens. Italy is locked down for everyone's safety. They imprisoned you in your own homes against your will. That brings up the question, what's the goal? What are they trying to do? Is it a distraction for the earn it bill? The secret plan to scan every message online. Imagine an internet where the law required every message sent to be read by government approved scanning software. Because they didn't put the word encryption in the bill, they're going to insist it doesn't affect encryption. I mean, they're already blatantly censoring every social media platform. Why not just put it out there publicly? Why not make it a law? We know what the future has in store on various fronts. The control of the food supply, taking away cash, and using a chip for all transactions. That same chip will force you to think just how they want you to. The enslavement of the population on a global scale. But what are they doing at this specific point in time? Why are they creating this hysteria? Back in 2009, there was an article on Meh Meh Meh. Meh 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 is planning to declare Meh 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 Meh. He also spoke of a Meh 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 elite. Meh 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 House Speaker Meh 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 and Senate Majority Leader Meh 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 who might use a Meh 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 or natural disaster as an excuse to declare law. They're trying to develop an environment where they can take over, he said. We've seen that historically. Then we have a popular news personality citing that this will be used to hurt the economy and push mandated medicines. Whatever they're doing, everyone is playing along. New York City schools will close later this week. They clearly want people quitting, staying at home. Top nene nene expert doesn't rule out supporting temporary national lockdowns. Cities all over the country, bars and restaurants have been packed with people. This was the case last night. Right. This was the case in many places in Washington, D.C. And a new study suggests that it's young Americans who aren't really showing the symptoms that could really be spreading this and putting older Americans uh, in jeopardy more so than we realize. Would you like to see a national lockdown? Basically, yeah. people, basically, yeah. people, basically, yeah. people, you, you can't go out to restaurants, bars. You need right. to stay home. Well, I would like to see a dramatic diminution of the personal interaction that we see in restaurants and in bars. Whatever it takes to do that, that's what I'd like to see. You said lessening of social interaction. Governor tells California bars to close, tells older residents to isolate. We spoke the other day about the collapsing of small businesses. Why are they targeting these places? This could literally be them funneling people into larger corporate owned food sources. The rich get richer. The greediness never ends. Stop buying from the brick and mortar. You can buy from us now. It all relates back to the control of the food supply. Stay locked in your home, getting blasted by from your 15 Amazon devices. Order more stuff online from us. Get your food delivered by us. We control you. We control everything. People have to understand that these devices actually inhibit your mental ability, ability to think, recollect thoughts. A combination of this and the control of the food feeding you agrochemical laden slop every day equates to this. A population that will not stand up for themselves. This sad sack of 
fact that America has become probably deserves everything that is coming. We are going to be locked in our homes like a bunch of dogs for two weeks, and we are going to take it like the bitches we are. Questions right now about government mandated. How do you enforce those? So let me ask you this. What legal authority does the government have to declare and how can a team be enforced if someone violates it? Yeah, Anna, so our government has very broad authority, I think broader than people may realize, to order and enforce a quarantine, meaning a restriction on people moving into or out of either specific places or broader geographical regions. Now, under federal law, the government, through the Department of Health and Human Services, has the authority to order a as necessary to prevent the spread of communicable diseases. That can either be an isolation order on a specific individual known to have a certain condition, or in rare cases we can see a broader mass the last time we saw that was over a hundred years ago in 1918, 1919. There was a mass federal when we had that influence different right now. Also, all 50 states have laws enabling governors to order these. So how are these enforced? Well, first of all, you hope it's sort of self-enforcing. You hope people do the right thing and obey. Do the right thing and obey. Do the right thing and obey. But if not, they can be enforced by fines, and in some cases, some states, and under federal law, even by arrest and prosecution. We hope it doesn't come to that. We hope everyone does the right thing. We hope it doesn't come to that. We hope everyone does the right thing. We hope it doesn't come to that. We hope everyone does the right thing. But the government does have the power, if necessary, to enforce the quarantine. It's not all doom and gloom, though. There are people waking up to their government's fake nonsense, even roaming the streets shouting, it's fake. It's fake. Yeah, it might be fake, but the truth does not matter. The truth is what you believe. Who controls the media? What you see. You control the media, you control the truth. This is so textbook obvious, it's ridiculous. Lock people in their homes, control what they see, what they hear, what they send each other through social media. America, the land of the slaves that thinks they are free. But. I'm not here talking about this for no reason. This is the most important thing you will hear in your life if you're not already aware of it. We are constantly forced to live in a state of fear, a state of panic. We are guided by the media to be happy with mediocrity, to worry about everything, be happy with the crumbs from my bread. Am I going to make ends meet? Am I going to be able to get a job? Am I going to get fired? Will I make rent this month? It's a slave mentality. Stop looking at the negatives. Stop worrying about what is happening, what you cannot change, and focus on the positive. They want you in this hyper-negative state. And if you've noticed, most of your family is probably acting like this. At each other's necks, locked inside all day, the Wi-Fi from your cell phone's creating a constant tension, the poison in your food fogging your brain. This is why America has declined so much. When I see the evil, the sadness that has been brought to myself and my family, I translate that to those special interest funded pricks pushing feedlot beef, pushing a vegan diet, and that's just on the small scale in the dietary community. These people are evil, and by supporting them, what's happening right now on this planet is what you're supporting. It's incredibly difficult to put yourself in a positive state of mind if you aren't healthy. All of these things are being done to keep us down. By increasing food quality, improving lifestyle factors, we are able to feel good. When we feel good, we can focus on the positive and achieve everything we want in life. Part of this is related to knowledge. If you know the truth, if you know what they are trying to do, that it's fake, you will be empowered to not participate in that. Right now, they're in full control. We listen and do what they say, and that is because we are in a slave mentality. This is why I am against the special interest funding. You don't see these other people talking about this. I am the only person. Everyone else is playing along with the agenda. Eat some steak, you won't get sick, bro. Is there a word to describe these people? Is there? This is what they want, and many people are falling into their lies. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you'd like to support me, of course, please share the video, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, you can check out, you know, Organ Supplements, Frankie Syringe Meat. Uh, if you guys do want to support me further than my companies, uh, you can donate through paypal.me slash franktofano, and I will link my Patreon down below as well.